Good morning. Thank you for tuning in to your daily operations weather brief for Friday, July 12th. We did see some unexpected pop-up showers yesterday afternoon across the area. Then uh, those showers and thunderstorms yesterday, which, which uh, in total brought us just under an inch of rain across the Wallops region. Seeing some uh, low clouds this morning between about 1,000 to 2,000 feet. These should clear out as we go throughout the late morning hours. And then uh, seeing partly cloudy skies today, just a very slight chance of an isolated shower or storm in the early evening hours later today. Taking a look at our service analysis across the region. We have that uh, short wave well offshore now that brought us those uh, that line of showers and storms yesterday evening. Uh, and then uh, you can see some of the remnants of that over North Carolina here this morning. Still going to be one little uh, weak shortwave passing, uh, mainly uh, just south of the Del Mar, but as we go towards the late afternoon and into the evening hours, uh, mainly going to be seeing rain chances uh, just south of the Del Marva across the tidewater with that, but still uh, going to be about a 20% chance of some of that energy popping up, a uh, shower or storm here uh, at Wallops, especially with uh, the heat and humidity that we are expecting this afternoon. As of 8.15 a.m., seeing just a few clouds at the 1,000 feet, broken at 2,000, then broken cirrus deck at 20,000 feet. Winds were from the west, around 8 knots, temperature at 79 degrees with the humidity of around 88 percent. Taking a look at our satellite, you see we do have a pretty much abundant cloudiness across the uh, mid-Atlantic, the tidewater, and here the Delmarva. A lot of this stuff over the Delmarva is that low cloudiness that'll continue to slowly push south and then uh, uh, dissipate as we go towards the late morning hours, becoming partly cloudy, which should allow those temperatures to rise uh, near 90 uh, degrees, if not a couple degrees higher than that, and then uh, coupled with those uh, higher humidity values lingering across the area. We will be seeing those heat index values near 100 degrees as we go towards a lunch not lunchtime and into the early afternoon hours. So that will be something to keep in mind if you're doing any outside work today. Taking a quick look at our uh, short-term model here. Going to be seeing uh, dry conditions. Uh, still can't rule out the slightest chance of an isolated pop-up shower as we go towards the early afternoon hours. However, it is looking a little bit more uh, unlikely today. But as we go toward this afternoon, we are going to get some uh, pop-up uh, convection across the central Virginia. And that could make its way over uh, east towards uh, the southern Delmarva. So we are going to be running just a 20% chance of an isolated shower or storm. Uh, mainly between just 8 p.m. and midnight this evening. So for today, going to be looking at a high of 91 this afternoon. Winds are going to be westerly around 8 to 13 knots throughout the day today, and then weakening after sunset to a 3 to 8 knots. And then by Saturday morning, seeing those winds northwesterly at around 3 to 7 knots with a low of 74. Seeing that slight chance of an isolated pop, uh, uh, isolated shower or storm between mainly 8 p.m. and midnight could be seeing something as early as 6 if we do get anything, but uh, only running around a 20% chance. And then just a very, very slight chance of an isolated pop-up shower between um, about noon and 5 p.m. We are going to be seeing, like I said, those heat index values rise as we go towards late morning hours, especially when this cloud cover clears out, seeing that heat index near 100 degrees uh, by lunchtime or early this afternoon. Taking a look at our terminal forecast for today, just going to be continuing to see us um, a few to a few clouds near 2,500 feet as we go towards late morning hours, then a few clouds at 4,000, few at 8,500, as well as a continued thin cirrus deck. And that's going to be the case for much of the day. As we go towards this evening, as we get some of those uh, showers in the vicinity uh, possible, we could be seeing uh, some broken clouds between 2,500 and 5,000 feet. Then tonight, going to be seeing things clear up, especially after midnight, and uh, only becoming a few at 5,000, scattered at 25. And then by mid-morning tomorrow, should be seeing some mostly uh, sunny skies at uh, sunrise. Uh, going to be just a few low-level clouds lingering across the area, and then a few cirrus clouds near 25,000 feet. For tomorrow, it is going to be partly cloudy and hot once again, high of 90 degrees. Uh, we will see those uh, dew point values uh, near 70 here at Wallop. So that uh, should keep those heat index values just below 100 degrees for 
uh, tomorrow. Then Saturday night, we are going to start to see a little bit more moisture get into the area. It's going to be partly cloudy and muggy. And Sunday does look to be like a very hot one out there with a little bit higher humidity, high of 93. So it does look like those heat index values are going to get to 100 or just above that for Sunday. That'll do it for your daily operations weather brief. We'll be back at 10 a.m. for your full weather briefing and extended outlook. Have a great day.